humans, Blazik and Boy TV here, and today, um, welcome back to episode three of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke. Today we will be encountering, we will hopefully be getting some encounters. So let's go ahead and go to Route 1, where we're being held back by our mom. Alright, now hopefully we can go to Route 1 without any more interruptions. Oh wait, another interruption! Okay, well we're getting the deck now. Which could be very, very nice. Alright, so we do get an encounter for Route 1, however what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna try my best not to get anything here because she gives you you can get she helps you find a um puccino with an egg move it can have fire fang thunder fang or ice fang i think so it's right over there so now we have to creep over there and get the puccino Alright, so let's go get the Puccina. But real quick, before we do anything, I'm going to save because... Whoops, not there. Um, misclicked. But I'm going to save because I don't want to lose my pro my progress. Because last time I tried to record... Um, this is actually my second run-through of this Nuzlocke for today. Because it said the first time... It glitched, it glitched out and said that I, um, that it said that I, uh, that the game card was removed, but it wasn't. Alright, so let's weaken it with Ember. I really want this Puccino because it will have an egg move. I don't know which of the elemental fangs it'll be, Fire Fang, Ice Fang, or Thunder Fang. I'm hoping it's not Fire Fang, though, because, I mean, we have a Fire type already. We don't really need another Fire type move. Now let's just throw a Pokeball at it. And there we go. We got it. So, once again, it will be named after a fan. I'm going to name it after the same fan that I named it after last time I tried to record this. Which is... Aaron Kwan. So, yeah, everyone, welcome Aaron the Puccina to the team. So, let's go over here. Um... We get two more encounters right now, actually. But first, let's see what move it has. All right, so Aaron. It has, he has Ice Fang. Every time I've gotten the Puccina, it has Ice Fang. So maybe it has to do with like, I don't know. Maybe it's guaranteed to have Ice Fang. I'm not sure. I thought it would have any of them. But, yeah, I'm glad that we got Ice Fang. So, let's go ahead and get our encounter for Route 103. And we are getting a Wingle. All right. I will take it. I will definitely take a Wingle. All right. And we will name it after a fan again. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and break out. All right, that's fine. Oh no, water gun. Okay, that kind of scared me for a little bit. I thought we were gonna lose Pinguino there, but it is only level three, so. It 
Impelibur can be pretty good in the early game. Alright, we got it. So I think I know which fan I'm going to name this one after. I'm not mad at all to have a uh, wingle. All right, so we will name it Court after Court Town. So now let's go and we actually get yet another encounter over here. I'm hoping for a low tad, not gonna lie. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. He has a Zigzagoon. I remember he has a Zigzagoon. A low tad would be very nice because those are useful throughout the whole game. Um, Wurmple would be a good one because Dustox and Beautifly are both pretty good in the early game. However, they start to fall behind after the first couple of gems. I'd say that, like, they'll stop being, like, extremely useful after, like, the fourth gym, maybe. Like, third or fourth gym. But they're really good in the early game because they're, like, the fastest you'll ever get a final evolution. Zigzagoon would be good because if it has pickup, which it probably will be, it probably will have pickup. That would be very nice because of um, we would get free items all the time. So yeah, Wurmple. Um, wait, Lotad would be the one I would want the most. Then Wurmple, then Zigzagoon. I know we already do have a water type um, on the team, but... Another one wouldn't hurt, and this could be, like, more of a grass type than a water type, if we prefer it that way. There we go. Dex now. There we go. That's a low tad. All right, we're, we're going to get low tad. We're going to get low tad. There we go. Let's go. We got low tad. How crazy would it be if we just randomly encountered a shiny... That would be awesome. Sorry, the lighting's really weird. Actually, no, no, no. I'm not going to just, um, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to leave Pinguino in here. I should have healed my guys before. What I'm going to do, I'm going to swap into Aaron. Then I'm going to heal him. Then I'm going to attack. Okay, good. It's not going for any um, attacking moves. Then I'm going to attack it and then throw a Pokeball. So, um, now let's attack. We'll go with Ice Fang. I really hope we don't kill it. Oh, we're confused. No! That is not what I wanted. I did not want to hurt... I did not want to hurt myself in confusion. Alright, there we go. We snacked out of confusion. I know we didn't... Um, we didn't damage it too much, but I'm just going to go straight for a Pokeball just to see if it works. There we go. We caught it. I'm super happy we have Lotad on our team because Lotad is such a cool Pokemon. I love the whole evolution line, and he's great in Nuzlocks or just playthroughs in general. Let's 
guess we will give a nickname to it. Alright, so we will name him Venusaur. Venusaur became a fan um, a couple weeks ago, actually. So, yeah. Should we battle him? Yeah. More XP can never hurt. It can never hurt. And he just has, like, uh, like, Wurmple or something, I think. Yeah, he does. So let's just beat him with Ember. And there we go. Alright, so now, um, the video is getting kind of long, so I'm gonna end it here in a few minutes. Um, alright, so I'm going to go ahead and battle him. And there's one more trainer up here, so I'm gonna battle that one too. And then we'll call it an episode, and we'll enter Petalburg in the next, in the next video. And we do actually get an encounter in Petalburg City once we get a fishing rod. Um, but we'll have to come back there um, after a while to get it. Alright, so Taylor. I think I'm going to like grind up Ping Pinguino. Um... And make him really, really, really strong. And then I'm just going to sweep through the whole game. Like, I would like to get him up to level 20 before the first gym. I usually, um, usually my starter Pokemon dies because I don't have a ton of patience. And also, change of plans were not fighting that trainer but Pinguino is not going to he's not gonna die he's gonna stay around for the whole game all right so um so I think we'll go ahead and call it an episode thanks for watching please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in episode four